Good morning, everyone, and welcome to church this morning. We're so glad to see all of you here. Um, glad that you're not on vacation. Maybe you're sad about that, but hopefully you'll get one at some point if you haven't already taken it. But it's going to be such a great day today. Just a reminder um, that Wednesdays, you know, we're not meeting, but Ember still is. So if your students missed the paint war that we had this past Wednesday, we still have summer bash nights happening every other Wednesday in July. So make sure that they make it out because it's really, really awesome. Will you stand as we worship together this morning? We're so glad to see all of you. this morning. Get into that place of worship. We turn our attention to you, God. We turn our attention to you.
just want to thank him. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your love, God. Come on. Can we just thank you? Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. We never, we'll never quite comprehend your ways.
people be healed. And it's not because we've worked really hard for it, it's just because of the grace of God and His goodness. And so when we come in this room, from the moment we start worship to the moment we end and walk out, God is working, He's among us, He's doing something, something unique. And so I don't wanna come into a service and do my warm up songs and then feel the love of God at the end. I wanna from the moment we start to the moment we're done, the presence of God is released. Heaven is released. And so I just wanna challenge us in this moment. You already have His presence, you already have Him. He's in this room, He's working. God, we just pray, Lord, that power of Your Spirit would break out. God, that we wouldn't come in and start over every Sunday, that we would begin to build something, Lord, build something that is of Your presence, that is of the heavenly realms, God, that every day, every Sunday we walk in, God, it would just begin to climb and escalate. People would begin to walk in the room and weep under Your presence, God. Because of us, Lord, but because of your goodness, God, that we invite your presence to do that, God. You're worthy. Just praise Him. Come on, don't stop. Just for another moment, just praise. Just press into that moment. Press on in. Come on. Press on in. Press on in. You know, sometimes I think we want to wait till our trust, our trials, or something difficult that we're going through is over because we think then we will praise the Lord. But I believe the truth is, if we don't trust God in the midst of the storms, the tests, the trials, the challenges, the we're never gonna really trust Him, right? So let's this time, one more time, I wanna praise Him, praise Him right in the midst of the storm, praise Him right now, and with all your heart, mind, and strength, one time, let's just go after it. God, I praise You. I thank You, Jesus. There's no one like You, God. All my trust, my hope is in you, God. I'm putting all my trust and hope in the King of Kings, the Lord's Lord. And truly, God, you are good. You are good, you are good, you are good, you are who you have said that you will be for us. God. Thank you, God. Deliverer, Savior, Provider. Thank you, God. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You know, just before we leave this moment, uh, the last say 15 minutes and, and uh, over a period of months, the Lord has just kind of put on my heart, the Lord has put on my heart, those that grew up in church or were around church that have just kind of uh, become jaded and distant, angry at the church and all that. 
and uh, I've been dialed in on you. If you're one of them, maybe you're visiting somebody on vacation and you know they drug you to church this morning or you're watching on the online campus. And I, what I would just say is what you've just witnessed is the difference between Christian karaoke and really what we're trying to accomplish here. We know you don't know the words. We, we know these aren't your favorite songs. We could care less about that. What we're trying to do is shift your consciousness to understand that God is real, that he's with you in this moment, and we want you to have a sense of his realness uh, and an, an awareness of his authentic presence that reigns over you. And so whether you get it or not, what we want you to do is have a, a, a moment, a deep personal moment that you probably can't even put vocabulary words around that would just say, I know he's real and I know that he loves me. God speaks two languages. He speaks the language of love and he speaks the language of you. And he knows just who you are and how to whisper his uh, thoughts to you. And so I just pray over you. If you've come visiting with someone or you're watching on the online campus and you're just sick of church up to your eyeballs, you're just sick of this and sick of that, what I would say is God is not synonymous with that, that God stands above all and that he loves you and reaches to you today. In Jesus' name.